My name is Wilson Impumire, the project manager for Frontier Energy, uh, responsible for the two plants, Nyamagasani 1 hydropower plant and Nyamagasani 2 hydropower plant. Nyamagasani 1 is a 15 megawatt hydropower plant currently running, and Nyamagasani 2 is a 6 megawatt hydropower plant downstream of Nyamagasani 1. Both plants are located in Kasese, in the foothills of the Lonzori Mountains, on a river called Nyamagasani. Nyamagasani 1 has an annual generation of 64 gigawatt hours. Nyamagasani 2, uh, which is about uh, 50 meters downstream of Nyamagasani 1, utilizes the same river and uh, it has an annual generation of 25.5 gigawatt hours. We started both of these projects in uh, July 2017 and uh, by August uh, 2021, both plants are contributing to the national grid, which was uh, the main intended purpose for the two plants. And even better to, to note that uh, this is renewable energy, it's clean energy. On a global perspective, we have about 60 projects at different stages uh, of development. Uh, in Uganda, particularly, we have eight power plants. And right now, all of them are in operations. And seven of those are actually with the support of GetFit and CDC. The CDC group has actually contributed uh, tremendously in, uh, in the investment of uh, Frontier Energy Fund 2. Apart from the investment arm as well, we have also had uh, contribution from GetFit, of course, which uh, the UK aid is part, and uh, this has uh, helped the sector in streamlining the documentation, making it uh, easier to, to get projects from uh, the point of development up to construction and eventually to operations. Throughout the whole project uh, exercise, we've had uh, quite multiple impacts. During construction, at the peak, we were employing more than 800 staff. More than 80% of the workforce has been local. We also look at, uh, at the gender balance of, uh, of our workforce. And I would say that uh, we have looked at the different ways how we can incorporate gender sensitivity into these plants. And this actually also trickles down into operations. We have also provided uh, very clean water to over 10,000 people in the neighborhood of these power plants. Actually, we had an outcry from most of the community people that uh, when the young children are going to fetch water, some of them were drowning. Sometimes they miss school because the sources were very far. We have got a very clean source spring from up in the mountains and we have uh, laid down over 12 kilometers of pipe work to supply water to all the communities around the power plants. And uh, I want to believe that uh, also throughout the life of the power plants, we should be able to engage even further to contribute to the livelihoods of the communities. Projects have faced uh, multiple challenges, including uh, the Ebola uh, epidemic in 2018 and uh, COVID-19 since March 2020 has had a massive negative impact on our progress uh, and, and, and the timelines. Amidst the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we were also hit by extreme floods in May 2020 and uh, it retarded our progress. I mean, extreme floods are part of the climate change uh, issue that these projects are anyway trying to address. By introducing clean energy as an alternative or rather the preferred source of energy, we are trying to mitigate uh, uh, such extreme floods at a global perspective. And uh, Frontier Energy, together with uh, the different stakeholders, uh, have put in quite some effort trying to uh, push for renewable energy as the preferred source of energy. And uh, my recommendation would be that that effort is given sufficient emphasis by uh, taking renewable energy as the preferred source of energy instead of some of the, of, of the other sources which deplete the, 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 the source and uh, eventually have a very negative impact on the environment.